Welcome to our reflections for today. I hope and pray that you know the peace that God lovingly gives to us, his dear children. Last week, on my way home from a drive to Dumfries, I stopped at a lay-by near Creetown. The sun had set, however the sky was still full of colour and the river was reflecting the light as it flowed gently on. Everything just seemed at peace, in perfect harmony, in complete balance. The videos that I'm using today for the backgrounds are of that scene. I stood there for about half an hour filming, but it was so peaceful that uh, I honestly could have stayed there for so much longer. As we continue, our reflections on the hope that God gives us, we are thinking today about the theme of peace. As we will read in a moment, one of the titles that Jesus was given in a prophecy about him was Prince of Peace. Jesus is the one who brings peace to our lives and harmony to our soul. So let us hear our reading for today which is from Isaiah chapter 9, verses 1 to 7, and will be read by Anne Fleming. Nevertheless, there will be no more gloom for those who were in distress. In the past, God humbled the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, but in the future he will honour Galilee of the Gentiles by the way of the sea along the Jordan. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. They rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest, as men rejoice when dividing the plunder. For as in the day of Midian's defeat, you have shattered the yoke, that burdens them, the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor. Every warrior's boot used in battle and every garment rolled in blood will be destined for burning, will be fuel for the fire. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Amen. Watching a peaceful landscape in front of us can definitely help us to feel our worries, our concerns and our fears drift away, at least for the time when we are standing there gazing at the scene. However, the peace that God provides for us through Jesus as one that endures because like our relationship with him, it lasts forever. In the passage we heard one of the most well-known prophecies of Jesus, which we often read at some point each year during our journey through Advent. In verse six, we read, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. So keeping in our minds the peace that God provides us with, let us reflect and turn 
on each of these last four titles for Jesus. Firstly, Jesus is our wonderful counsellor. He is the one that we can turn to when we need guidance in our lives. He is the one who will listen to all our concerns, all our worries and all our fears, and he will advise us what to do. He always offers guidance, showing us a way to live that will bring peace to our minds and our souls. After all, we can be assured that he is perfectly wise and that his way is always better than any other. Therefore, we have hope because of the peace that we receive when we accept his guidance in our lives. Secondly, Jesus is our mighty God. He is the one who can sort out any issue in our lives. He is bigger than every trouble or situation that looks set to swamp us. The disciples found that out when they were in the boat with Jesus in the midst of the storm. They thought they were going to drown. But with just a word from Jesus, everything was at peace. Jesus grants us peace by being strong enough to carry us through the tempest of life. Even if the difficult times do last for a short while, we know that they will not damage our connection to God, nor remove the peace that he provides us with. Therefore we have hope because of the peace that is ours when we stand firm with Jesus. Thirdly, Jesus is our everlasting Father. He is the one who loves us completely and who will love us forever. There is nothing that can ever separate us from his love. We've been brought into his family as his dear children and our relationship with him will never end. We will never be abandoned by him and even if we turn our backs on him, he will remain close to us, longing for us to turn to him once more. When we were children, we may have had a parent or a grandparent who picked us up and put us on their shoulders. In a sense, that is what Jesus does to us. For he lifts us up, not just so that we are above the worries, but so that we know that we are secure because he holds on to us. Therefore, we have hope because of the peace that we have as his dear children. Fourthly, Jesus is our Prince of Peace. He is the one who has led the battle charge for our souls and has fought and won the great battle. It is because of Jesus and all that he has done for us that we have peace which will last forever, which no sin can ever disrupt. Through Jesus we have complete forgiveness for all the wrong that we say and do or even think. Sometimes when we make mistakes, we can think that our choices have removed us from God's peace. But this is not the case. For God's forgiveness, obtained by our Prince of Peace, gives us security forever. Yes, we need to say sorry and put the past behind us, but we can always be confident that nothing will ever remove the peace that is ours through Jesus. Therefore we have hope because of the peace that God's forgiveness brings us. How amazing it is to stand in awe at the peace of God which is ours to enjoy. 
This is a piece which humbled Mary and Joseph as they gazed at their son. This is the piece which the angels celebrated as they sang about the connection between God and us. This is a piece which brought shepherds from the hills and wise men from their lands far away. This is a piece which brought us close to God and which challenges us to bring peace into every moment of our lives. Remember the words of the Prince of Peace, Jesus, our Lord and Saviour. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Therefore, our hope is secure because of the peace that Jesus brings to us and to our lives and encourages us to share with those around us. Shall we pray? Loving God, we thank you for the peace that is ours, that peace which is secure in you, that peace which will remain forever, that peace which is given in love. As we meet you this day, may your peace surround us, fill us and refresh us as we continue to place our hope in you. Wonderful Counselor, you are indeed with us in all our worries, in all our concerns and in all our fears. We know that we can bring everything that is on our minds to you and gratefully receive your love and care. The worries that we have about the people close to us, the concerns that we have for the future and the fears that haunt our very dreams. Be with those people who we deeply care for, comforting the bereaved, healing the ill and supporting the tired. Also give us your guidance for the future and remove all our fears. Help us to see the way forward as your peace rests on us, not always removing us from the situation, but giving us your wisdom and leading us forward. Lord Jesus, how wonderful is your peace. Mighty God, we give thanks that you are bigger than any conflict or situation that we have before us. When events outwith our control looked set to swamp us, you remain our rock and our security. Over the past year, we have all faced many situations which we thought would have swept us away, but we have remained with you and our peace has been secure and is secure. The events around us can indeed be like a storm and the decisions of the world can often provoke conflict. But despite all this, we have in you the peace that endures forever. Lord Jesus, how mighty is your peace. Everlasting Father, we give thanks that you draw close to us, that you welcome us into your family and that you shower us with your love. You hold us close and you never let us go. And if we turn away from you, you keep loving us. May our first love for you, our dear Father, remain strong throughout our lives as we enjoy life as your sons and daughters. Lord Jesus, how everlasting is your peace. Prince of Peace, we give thanks that you have secured our souls in the battle that you fought and won. We thank you for your willingness to die on the cross so that our sins would be forgiven. Help us to find true peace as we put the past behind us and live entirely for you. You rule over us and we seek to serve you in every aspect of our lives. Lord Jesus, you are our Prince of Peace. Loving God, pour your Holy Spirit into our lives and help us to be your peacemakers in the world, sharing your peace with those we know as we continue to serve you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Thank you to everyone who sent in photos for this week's community space, which has the theme of peace. Next week, the theme for our reflections is everyone. And since it will be the last reflections before Christmas, I thought it would be great if everyone who watches this could send Christmas greetings to everyone else. Basically, if you can send me a short Christmas message to everyone at some point over the coming week, I will then put them all together for our community space. While I'm very happy just to receive a text message, I'm also happy to receive images to go with them or even video messages. Just email me at the address on the screen or text me via the mobile number. Or if you live locally, you could even hand in a message to me. It would be good to have as many messages as possible. And so even if you haven't sent anything before, please consider doing so this time. So as we continue to reflect on the theme of peace, let us sing the carol, Silent Night. So our hope in God is secure because of the peace that is ours through Jesus, our wonderful counsellor, our mighty God, 
our everlasting Father, and our Prince of Peace. And until we meet again, take care, stay safe, and may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen. Thank you.